Hey, all right. It's time for Super Beard Bowl Season 3. It's the same, but different. You'll see what I mean. This month, the Beard Bros are trying and reviewing every single item at Taco Bell. One of everything, please. All righty then. The public vote is live this week. Where you choose what we play next, so don't miss it. That's right. This is the finale. This is the one you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. This is value menu part two of the Beer Bros Eat Every Item on the Taco Bell menu. And what do we got this week? Oh, I will let you know what we got this week. We got the bean and rice burrito. Yeah, yeah, delicious. We have the cheesy roll up. Oh, the cheesy roll up. And we have the classic, the one everyone knows. We got the winner of the belt. Who did we do? Who did we go? I don't know. It's the salmon twists. That's right. We got the salmon twists. Let's do the thing. Let's see. Let's see. Roll the tape. Roll the tape. We got it. Welcome to Value Week Part Two where you thought, you know what, let's not take your art device the first time around, let's spend two bucks, maybe three. In that case, it's not a value anymore, but we're on the value menu today, the second half of it. My name's Brett, I've made it. This I'm trying everything on the Taco Bell menu. The grand finale of our month of eating every single item at Taco Bell. We've reached the end of the road, baby. This is the final, final portion. This is the dregs. We are in a weird zone again, we got another strange, cinnamon item today. There's no heat left anywhere. I'm not looking forward to this. Despite my white shirt that seems to uh, influence favorable reviews on my part of this food. I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of scared. Some classics today. We're going to see what we got. I'm going in. I'm ready. I love this. I love Taco Bell. I'm ready. Let's get some value out of this. Let's get our value on. I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, oh boy. Cheesy bean and rice burrito. The cheesy bean rice burrito, let me tell you, just by looking at it alone, I know exactly what's in here. I was really impressed with the last burrito on the value menu, right? So I'm gonna take a look at the menu again. Yeah, this is on here too. It's a classic. This is one of those things where there's the there's the one at El Pollo Loco, the BRC, which is really one of the best in its class, like poor man's burritos out there. And if you're trying to just mix it up a little bit from a bean burrito and you want a little bit of extra texture in there, rice, beans, it's one of the only things I'll accept the rice as like a good addition to is beans and rice. Who doesn't like that, right? I don't know why they didn't put rice in the name of the last one because it was mostly rice, let's be honest. This is the exact same thing as the burrito I just ate, which was the beef burrito, except instead of beef, it's beans. But this is the, oh, what the fuck? This is, wow. Sorry, I can't even split this open. Look at the ooey gooey going on. Damn. The thing I'm weird about is this nacho cheese in here again. Like, I never am like rice and beans. Oh man, I'm gonna pour a fucking nacho cheese on that. Like, I wanna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it or just give me a little hot sauce. I'm not sure I would even, if it's between sh shredded cheese and nacho cheese, I might just say, like, if I have to have nacho cheese, I'd be like, I'm good on cheese. Like this, it's such a weird thing. When you said cheesy, you weren't fucking around, were you? Okay. I'm just impressed by, like, I've torn open a lot of burritos in the past two weeks. This is the best one I've seen tear open like that. Well done, whoever packed this together, some dude named Mike. I don't know. Same rice, same nacho cheese, same chipotle, same tortilla, same awful taste. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly what I said, exactly what I thought. Vegetarians, you've got yourself a dollar option that's way better than that potato thing, I'll tell you that much. Way better. I'm impressed by how the proportions of this burrito really put the rice center stage. I will say, the redeeming quality in this, once again, is the tortilla. I would choose the beef, not even because like I can eat meat, but I think it tastes slightly better than the beans they've got here at Taco Bell. But uh, <clears throat> this thing's not bad for a dollar. I really do taste rice. It tastes like rice. It doesn't taste like waxy chemical spray. It tastes like actual rice. Even comparing the tortilla from the burritos to the melt to the soft taco, uh, 
the burrito is the best tortilla. I am quite impressed. If I am ever destitute on the streets, which might happen, if you see a big dude walking around LA, the streets of fucking mid city Los Angeles, and he asks you for a dollar in the future, please give it to him, because that's probably me, and I probably want one of these. The beans and rice combo, very good. I didn't, I wouldn't call this super cheesy. I mean, maybe I just missed, I'll take another bite just for for journalism's sake. It is weird, because you think about it, it's all the same fucking ingredients across the same items. But the tortilla is the key factor here. There are three things, probably. I would rather get on this menu than this thing. But this this will keep you this will keep you alive and you'll be happy with it. I'm telling you, this isn't that bad. And it's it's probably got a lot to do with that cheese going on. I think they ease off on the nacho cheese a little bit. It's definitely in there. I can still I can taste that American cheese now in there. It's kind of nasty when you get a pocket of it, but like when it's dialed back like this and you get the beans and the rice in the front, like I am not offended by this burrito. This is an item that I would order about a year ago today when I'd be working late on something and I just wanted to hate myself. That nacho cheese is saving things, man. Nacho cheese, chipotle sauce. The nacho cheese and the chipotle sauce are all stars. And they're both probably terrible for you. This is this is a reliable thing. Like this is something that I would feed to a six-year-old who's picky. Like, I think they could handle this. Like if you are like one of those people who eats just a bean burrito every time you go to Taco Bell, Try the cheesy bean and rice burrito. Level your life up a little bit, see what's going on. You do a lot of things when you stay up late. Don't do drugs. Unless you want to, I'm not gonna stop you. I can't believe those other guys aren't looking at prices this whole time. If I didn't know that this cost a dollar, I would throw it against the wall. I would hate this. But knowing that it's a dollar, this is incredible. You have to include that, right? You have to include that information in order to evaluate this thing's value to me personally, and probably to you as well. Maybe put a little mild sauce on it. Go wild, go crazy. It's not bad, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, surprisingly. It's not terrible, I enjoyed this. It ain't great, but it'll keep you alive. I'm not gonna eat, I'm done with this one. I'm gonna give it a, hmm. Cheesy roll up. This is called the cheesy roll up. How dare they? How dare they? Remember how I said earlier, about like the fruit roll up, <laughs> like, like a fruit snack. Like this is what this is. Look at this. Look at this. This is an infamous item now. I just watched Gerard eat one of these. Captured my imagination. I don't know exactly what's in it. I have to be led to believe that what's in here, I believe, is shredded cheese, nacho cheese, and like that smoky, creamy sauce that we've been having a lot of uh, lately. Spicy, creamy sauce. Look, this is a weapon. This is a shake. I can murder someone with this. They have an item on the menu called the cheesy roll up. Can you guess what it is? This is very hard. Uh, look, I'm sure they go for this. Look at this. <laughs> I was really expecting <laughs> some type of cheese from the commercials. This is literally what you make at home when you have tortilla and cheese and that's it. <laughs> Look at this. It's so not melted. <laughs> Just picking this up and like feeling the size of it, like it it maybe is just a chicken chipotle melt without the chicken, um, which in terms of the ratios might screw it up a little bit, but who knows? You can buy this and eat this. <laughs> There's no heat coming from this. I think I have more heat in my body right now. Maybe the cheesy roll up is on the menu still for a reason other than that it's just cheap and it's ingredients that are another thing. So let's find out. <laughs> Who would do this to their body? I'm gonna break it apart. That is like all tortilla. It's got some cheese in there. <laughs> this is like what, like a dollar? This is a dollar. This is what a dollar fast food. Tell you what, just don't do this for a dollar. I'll pay you the dollar to not eat this. <laughs> Let's move on. Do you ever ask yourself what it's like to bite into a block of cheese? That's what that was. I'm stunned. I literally ratatouille just now. 
It was just a block of cheese. There's no, no. My mother, when I was young and we were eating at the 99 cent store every week, my mom would buy cheddar cheese, she would buy tortillas, and she would make this exact thing with a little bit of American cheese, cheesy roll up, it tastes exactly like this. Just give me a fork and cheese, it's the same shit. I was wrong. There is no smoky sauce in here. There is no nacho cheese in here at all. This is just purely a fucking cooked tortilla with real ass cheese in it, and it tastes exactly like that. It's not even cooked. I'm stunned by these little fuckers. These little, these two little skinny fuckers, mind blowing. I can't believe, I can't believe that I liked this. It's cold cheese and not even like temperature wise. Like it didn't even melt. It didn't even move beyond. Go into your fridge right now. This is mind blowing to me. I, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat this whole fucking thing. I'm gonna save it because I know I gotta use it for something later. JD Meister, I know you watch the show. You're eating all these meals every day with us. I see you your tweets. Just do this. Your, your beer bros homework specifically is to recreate this and enjoy it. It's not hard homework. Cause this is not great. This is, this is great. Cinnamon twists. Here's something that I think I don't have, I've had since I was a kid. The grand finale of all Taco Bell items, I think. Cinnamon twist. This thing has been around forever. Have you ever in your life asked yourself what the fuck a cinnamon twist is? Let me just give you a window into what I think people think about this, about cinnamon twist. Kelly, my girlfriend, fucking hates Taco Bell. She's vocal about it. It's fine. We figured it out. I know when I am allowed to get it and when I'm not allowed to get it. But when I do get it, she always asks for two orders of the cinnamon twists because you know what? There's really not a lot to hate about these, you know? Especially if they're crispy. I definitely saw these like dated yesterday's date sitting on the rack at Taco Bell when I went earlier to pick them up. What is this? What is this? We eat this at Taco Bell. They were the Taco Bell equivalent of the French fries, I guess. I don't know. It's some kind of fried doughy item and it's got cinnamon on it. But these are a dessert, man. They're just twisty churros, I think. It's really sugary, but I don't know what I would hate about this. Like, I, I think it's like a, it's like a dessert chicharron. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's literally like a dessert pork rind. Oh, you know what this is? This is like the consistency of a pork rind. You guys ever eat pork rinds? I love them. I think it's pasta. It's pasta? It's like dried pasta? I don't know. I don't, 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 don't quote me on that. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it's made of. It's gotta be some kind of fried fat. Maybe it's just the tortilla? I don't fucking know. But it's sweet. It's airy and light and puffy but it's got a cinnamon flavor, so here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Speaking of pork rinds, I really like how the body of this is so brittle and spongy, and it just breaks apart and mushes away into nothing like a sea urchin when you eat it. What is this? And it's just gone, and then I'm tasting the air in between, which is like perfumed with the flavor of cinnamon. And that is the that is the beauty of this dish. So these apparently are only a dollar. Nothing else on the menu tastes like this aside from the Cinnabon Delights or whatever it was called. You got that nice cinnamon flavor and to, just to really break up the palate of what's going on at Taco Bell, these things go a long way. You get this like, almost like you inhale the flavor of like a cinnamon bun cooking in the kitchen. It's really good. It just tastes like I'm eating styrofoam that has sugar on it. I don't think I could eat all of these. This seems like a lot of this and it's really sugary. So this, this I don't know, I, I don't see myself ordering two of these anytime soon. If you need something to serve as a palate cleanser or dessert at Taco Bell, yeah, yeah I think it'll work. Whenever one falls out of the, the container into the bag, I always toss that motherfucker into my mouth. What did I just eat? At least the cinnamon thing I know is like a donut. I don't usually get dessert at my fast food restaurants for myself. Like I'm never like, let me just polish that off with the dessert. These things have the shape of DNA. I should have picked a better one. This thing looks like someone reaching out for help. Doesn't look like someone reaching out for their mother. This is just styrofoam. This is styrofoam sugar. If this came at like a, like a film shoot or like somebody was like, I'm going to Taco Bell, you want anything? And I wasn't hungry. I might say, yo, give me. A cinnamon twist. I never get those. I don't think I've ever looked at Taco Bell's value menu because the whole thing feels like a value menu. The food there is so generally cheap compared to a lot of other places. 
But there were some like genuine treasure troves. People eat this. We eat this in America. These are an enduring classic for a reason. And uh, if you never tried them before, you're fucking up if you haven't tried them. God damn it. I want more of those because they're good. Final thoughts. And that, my friends, was Value Week Part 2. We had the uh, Weapon of Mass Destruction, the cheesy uh, roll-up. That was a shank, let's be honest. The uh, cheesy rice burrito, which, let's be honest, tastes like every other item on the fucking menu. And, of course, rounding it all out, the classic children's favorite, the cinnamon twists, or as I like to call it, the styrofoam twists, because, let's be real, they have no substance. So Value Week Part 2, I mean... I I don't even know what to say. The beef burrito from the previous episode and the cheesy bean and rice burrito only cost a dollar. Miles better than like some of the stuff like the, what did I have? The quesarito and stuff. I thought it was way better than, the, well, that's not true. I thought it was comparable. I thought it was super comparable to those things that cost $3 and more, right? I think the winner is going to be Taco Bell they somehow convinced you to spend money on these things. So they win. I was so mind blown by the cheesy roll up being like so much more sensible and like simple than I thought it was gonna be that like maybe I wanna give that the big win today. How is the bean burrito cost 139 but the cheesy bean and rice burrito cost a dollar? So guys, take advantage, man, take advantage. I'm telling you. Out of any of them, uh, it is clear that I have a vendetta with Taco Bell. I think the reality is, everyone, we all can have a little South Park story time learning moment. Things were better when we were kids. Like the BRC, I was surprised by how like not terrible it was. But the cheesy roll up, like literally legitimately ratatouille me back to my mom, making me little snacks at home when I didn't have school. As far as what's winning the day, it's obviously the cheesy bean and rice burrito. As far as the whole value menu goes, I think it's those twins, right? Because they're shitting on some regular ass burritos that are on the regular burrito menu, which is crazy to me. That's crazy to me. I got to hand it to them, but I also want to give an honorable mention to the Cinnamon Twist for just being around forever and somehow being something that somebody wants at like a shitty Mexican restaurant on the side of the road. I don't know why the two things are associated, but I love them. These items used to be incredible. And over the years, they expanded these gigantic franchises to cut the costs to then take away our favorites, like the Mexican pizza. I am grieving over that still. That was one of the best items on the menu and that's just gone. Today was not a sad day. I had no grossies today. It was a good one. So uh, I'm hype on that. I think I've made it. I've made it. I've made it through every item, probably. I've, I've made it through most of the items on the Taco Bell menu. And I still feel like my main choices of the nothing will ever beat the chalupa. F no, they might up, they might they might up them they might uh I can't speak anymore because I'm too full. The best item I had all month was probably, and I can't believe I'm going to fucking say this, the naked chicken chalupa. The item that I had no nostalgia for was the best item I had, which is a newer item. And it's the most stonery 420 blazed up item on the fucking menu. It is a, 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 a taco shell taco formed out of a chicken breast. A fried chicken breast shell is what I ate. The best item from Taco Bell. I'm never eating this ever again. Best item overall all month for me, probably the cheesy gordita crunch. I think that's like the very most perfect Taco Bell item. There's not a lot of ingredients at Taco Bell. So it's all about texture with this thing. It's got all the textures. It's got a soft tortilla. It's got the crunchy. It's got that nice cheese in the middle, that that unique sauce that is not usually paired with like the regular meat ingredients. It's truly the best item and I'm so glad that they still keep it. And it's probably the only thing I'm gonna order from Taco Bell from now on, except that that chicken chalupa melt really like rose to be the dark horse of today's, uh, of this month's entire thing. like. I can't believe how good that was. I would recommend it to anyone. It was really fucking good. I, I had to give my honor to the Cheesy Gordita Crunch, but goddamn, the chicken ch chipotle melt like made me believe Taco Bell could be good again somehow. Like, wow, like, wow, like, wow. They might top themselves one day 
over with the Chalupa. They might make something better, but for now, I feel like the Chalupa is the best thing they've ever done. <clears throat> I still like the Nachos Bel Grande. But I, ha I have learned of some new things, right, that I like. The worst thing I had all month was the entire menu. There was nothing here that had good substance with the exception of my three favorite items. The bean and cheese burrito, the, uh, the cheesy gordita crunch, and the naked chicken chalupa. Everything else tasted awful. It's just not good. It's not good. Worst item of all, probably one of the quesaritos. Like, some about those fucking like ex that late like the tortilla, then a fucking layer of nacho cheese. Imagine just taking a burrito and rolling it in nacho cheese and then wrapping another tortilla around it. Conceptually, it's gross. I don't even understand like what they're trying to sell to me. Like they grill the outside, but what are they grilling? They're grilling like goopy cheese against your your non grilled burrito. It's fucking weird. It's a weird ass item. I'm out on the quesarito. Don't bring it to me. The black bean one was even worse. So there you go. Peace out. I like that chipotle sauce. The things that have that chipotle. Oh man. Oh man. Can you get can you get the uh, the quesadillas with that chipotle sauce? No. That would add to the creaminess and add to the flavor. That might be perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if we can do that. But the, yeah, I've been neglecting the quesadillas, and I've been neglecting the. The, those two little burritos on the value menu are something else. Anything with the cheese, the nacho cheese, and anything with that chipotle sauce, you guys, I, I recommend that if you have to go to Taco Bell. And if you can splurge, just get the chalupa. It's it's great. Chalupa Supreme, of course. I'm going to lie down for 9,000 years. Thank you for watching the Beard Bros on Beard Bowl. Try everything at Taco Bell. You voted for this, so if we die, we know whose fault it is. That was it. That was it. There were some there were some opinions there that I may not agree with. Like for instance, I like eating blocks of cheese, Gerard. The cheesy roll up, I I like see you you, you understand. You, you you get my vibe. You, you you get it. Maybe you know. Maybe take some of these opinions, put them in the trash. My favorite item, I I, I got to give it to the Crunchwrap Supreme. You know, the Crunchwrap Supreme is just so timeless. It's just so perfect. The texture, you just it's good to go. It's good too. Go, look at that commercial. It's good to go. The worst item, personally, for me, there is no worst item. It's Taco Bell. It's amazing. I'm Taco Fresh. Let us know in the comments below what's your favorite item on the Taco Bell menu. And more importantly, would you like for us to do this again with maybe another fast food? Another fast food, anything. So here we are. But wait, there's more. Taco Bell hot sauces, mild, hot, fire, and Diablo. Muy, muy caliente. Thank you for sticking around post credits. I'm back in black. You know what I mean? It's time to test these Taco Bell sauces because I guess we're doing that too. So Ted threw a curveball and asked me to do a special secret review of the hot sauces from Taco Bell. I thought I was done, but they keep pulling me back in. That's okay because I'm here to test just four sauces. That's four bites, that's all. And so I opted to use my favorite item on the menu that I've been eating so far, which is the cheesy roll-up. It's just one last job, you know what I mean? This is the hot sauce taste test. We're gonna start mild sauce. I'm gonna be using the leftovers of my delicious cheesy roll-up. I never know. I just use some of whatever they give me and they all taste the same to me. So this is actually, this will be quite elucidating for me. Elucidating? No, illuminating. So here we are once again, using what may be the best weapon at Taco Bell to test these hot sauces. Here we go. I'm gonna start with mild. I assume Diablo's last because instead of like being evoking heat, uh, this just evokes a demon. So I'm gonna try that out. The mild sauce is like the ketchup of Taco Bell. I think probably it's the most beloved of them, which is kind of interesting because you think hot sauce would be about being hot. And to try all of them, <clears throat> I'm gonna just like, I'm gonna do good science. Like I'm not gonna try them all on different things. I'm gonna try them all on the same thing. And if I had to choose, which I did, what to try them on, of course I'm gonna try my favorite deal. The Chalupa Supreme, mate. This is Supreme, right? Hold on. Yeah, there's sour cream in there, dog. Now, generally speaking, this is my favorite hot sauce from Taco Bell. Normally I drizzle uh, horizontally so that I get some sauce in every bite. But we don't want that this time, obviously. Mild sauce to me, 
reminds me of when they used to have the little pinot beans and they put the red sauce on there. I think that was mild sauce. And it barely has like a peppery taste to it. It's like zesty oil, mostly. Like, I don't really know how to describe it better than that. That's already the best bite of Taco Bell that I've had this whole experience. <laughs> there are very few things in the world that taste like Taco Bell. But the two most important ones that you all should know, the Nacho Bell Grande and the mild hot sauce from Taco Bell. Who knew that all you needed was flavor, right? It's really comforting. It almost tastes like something I would want to drink like out of a glass warm. Quintessential Taco Bell flavor encapsulated in history right here. Just a little bit of flavor, a little spice. It goes a long way, man. Love it. Absolutely. It's not a spicy sauce. It's like a zesty, tastes almost like a chutney without anything in it. Kind of interesting. But we can go deeper. Next up, we have the hot. We can go hot. Yeah, hotter. I think hot is next, right? I never know. Moving up to hot sauce. Looks exactly the same to me. I'm assuming this is gonna, just by visually, is gonna have some sort of relation to the mild sauce. Yeah, it tastes like the mild sauce kind of. Same taste, a little bit hotter. Nothing crazy. It's a little more vinegary than the mild sauce. I am getting like the, the lightest hint of pepper zest. I can't taste a difference. Maybe I'm, maybe there's something wrong with me. Hold on. I would never call this a hot sauce. I don't know why there's so many levels of spice that aren't super spicy. Like mild, no spice. Hot should be spicy. Already, we should be spicy. There's two sauces beyond it. Personally speaking, I've never found the Taco Bell hot sauces to be hot at all. If you took me to Taco Bell HQ and some shady looking motherfucker was like, come here, and took me to the door labeled mild sauce and opened it. And then I went inside and looked behind me and saw that there were actually two doors and the other one said hot sauce on it and they both led to the same place. I wouldn't be surprised. They should blow your fucking face off. This one is like, you know, I mean, I think of my manager at Blockbuster who used to eat the the taco, uh, the taco Jack in the Box tacos and wouldn't eat the sauce there because it was too hot. So maybe this is for them. They don't really have a, a ton of flavor um, outside of the Taco Bell 1992 nostalgic vibe. I don't know. When I'm at a Mexican restaurant, even if it's fucking Taco Bell, which isn't really that Mexican, if I get sauce, I want to. I want it to be hot. I want it to spice up my meal and add to the situation. And I just, I think I'm more offended that it's called hot than I am by the flavor. The flavor's fine. This tastes exactly the same. I'm sure there's some. I'm sure there's some. I can't. Maybe it lingers on the tongue slightly longer, but it's the same. But they're both, you know, very helpful. It's kind of like a milder Tabasco, like one drop of Tabasco sauce in a in a bucket of mild sauce. Yeah, I, I can't. Same. Here we go. This is the fire. It's gotta be different, right? Hoping this one actually makes me feel spiced out a little bit. This is a bit thicker. Oh, look at this. I can, okay, so I can tell the difference in color with this one. I almost never go beyond the uh, mild sauce, so I'm kind of, this is almost new to me. Get out of here, bitch. Get out of here. This one's darker, so you know it's scarier. Mmm. Really, really strange. Look, I'm trying very hard, you guys. I'm trying very hard to describe to you the differences between these sauces. <laughs> this hot sauce gives the illusion of, of heat. It like makes you think it's gonna be hotter. It's not. Definitely has spice. It is very clear to me that this fire sauce is a little bit spicier, a tiny bit spicier than the others. Definitely has some some, some zesty, some, some hint of spice, but it's like, almost like it, it lasts only about as long as like wasabi. It's like fake temperature. I wish I could tell you the difference in the flavor, but I don't think there is one. Like it's spicy, but it's gone. Maybe they use different ingredients, I don't know. Or maybe my tongue is just stupid when it comes to this stuff. It definitely tastes more like a chili. Like I can taste some type of pepper in there, but it tastes obscured or chemically in some way. Maybe that's just like preservatives in there or something like that. But of the three so far, the fire has been the best. This all tastes the same to me, but it's just getting spicier. So like maybe that's what they intended. Like just 
We've got a flavor here at Taco Bell, but you at home can control your level of spicy, maybe. All right, now here's the new one. Diablo hot sauce from Taco Bell. This right here, Diablo sauce, is their last chance to do something different. And I'm hoping that since the Diablo sauce is a little newer, that maybe we're gonna have a new formula and it tastes a little bit more like something I'm looking for here. I hope it's way hotter than the fire. This looks like the others. And it evokes the devil. So hopefully it does, right? I wanna get it nice and saucy so that I can really taste it. The last one was kind of dark. This one appears to be roughly the same color, which does not bode well, you know? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's spicy, like. All right. I taste, I do indeed taste something different. It's not hot. If I had to describe it, I would say it's a little bit smokier as soon as it was in my mouth. I was like, there's something, <clears throat> there's something barbecue or roasty about this. You know what I mean? It doesn't even have a, a, a smoky taste. It just tastes like a different hot sauce. It's not super spicy. It's like kind of in the back of my throat. So it's spicing me out a little bit, but there's a citrus element to this sauce. That's like good. Mild sauce is like base stage. Hot sauce is the middle evolution. And then fire sauce is your level 36 starter that's fully evolved. <clears throat> but I feel like Diablo sauce, it's not like mega evolution of that or anything. Diablo sauce is, it's got the same base stats as the fire sauce, I think in terms of spiciness, but I think the Diablo sauce is its own single stage beastie. You know what I mean? All of these just taste very similar. I still probably wouldn't like choose this over like El Yucateco or some other hot sauce that I keep in my fridge. It's not like legit. Yeah, Diablo sauce feels like a legendary, but uh, all the other three feel like a pseudo legendary, like a fucking Tyranitar. The Tyranitar line. No temperature, faux temperature, if you will. But if I'm at Taco Bell, I'm always gonna get this Diablo sauce because it brings things that I like from Mexican flavors. Like it brings like a citrus hit. It brings like a smokiness. There's like a chipotle essence to it. Diablo sauce actually feels like a legendary. And you know, eat to taste. I don't know if any of these would have saved any of the meals I ate today. I don't know if, if they would improve it. It doesn't taste like chemicals. It doesn't taste like sugar it has a hot it, it resembles a hot sauce <clears throat> but yeah the diablo sauce is the only one that feels a little bit tastes a little bit different uh from a hot sauce perspective the mild is still the best one just because it's the most it's the ketchup you know it's the it's the the one that ties everything together shout out to diablo sauce the clear winner of this battle and uh that's it. Is the Diablo sauce spicier? Not even really. Like if it, the Diablo sauce, but then again, my tongue may be just, you know, numb from hitting it with, there was a lot of spice I put on this fucking one chalupa, right? Everything else is just more like a, a basic variant, if you will. And to me, the Diablo sauce and the fire sauce are equal parts spicy, but Diablo tastes a little bit smokier. You guys should try that out. Let me know what you think by writing your congressman. Thanks for watching this special feature. So the beer bros have eaten every item in the Taco Bell menu. I was your host, Taco Fresh. See you next time. Peace. So here we are once again. Bearded men have reached the end. Well, I don't know what comes next. All I know is you made it this far. This is your end card. See you next episode. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, the beard blows.